Hello, this is Miss Kim. Um, I am finally making the video for milliliters an hour. Um, the math isn't done, so I'll do it as we go through. So, um, <clears throat> what we're talking about today is IV calculations in milliliters per hour. So we're looking for the flow rate in milliliters an hour. Okay. Um, IV fluids are solutions including medications that are delivered directly into the bloodstream through the vein. Um, electronic devices or your IV pumps are used to regulate the flow of IV infusions. They apply pressure uh, sufficient to deliver a set volume of liquid every minute into the vein. For most of the devices you will put the flow rate in milliliters per hour. Now for flow rate for oh, let me get my pin going. Uh for flow rate again for flow here we're talking about our liquids and our rate is our amount of time. So it's specifically milliliters an hour. Um for milliliters an hour you're always going to round to the nearest tenths. Um <clears throat> unless told otherwise. Okay. So there's three different types of milliliters per hour. Okay, there's some. Well, there's I guess actually four. This one, this video covers three. Um, there's milliliters and hours, where you're just given milliliters and hours. Uh, there's another one where it's uh, they give you minutes and you need to find per hour. The third one is the one where you have to take into account the medication in the bag. And the fourth set is where you build on that. Um, and those are your uh, more advanced IV calculations. Uh, that would be done in a different video. Um, but for these, we're going to start with just when they give you just the milliliters and the hours. <clears throat> um, you can't beat this when they give you this information. That's the, the easy part. Okay. And if you notice how we're going to set it up, we're going to start with milliliters an hour. We're going to do our dimensional analysis. And for dimensional analysis, this is the most important part. This is our guide to the whole problem on how to set everything up. And then the second part is where we get the information from the problem. Okay, so I'm looking for milliliters per hour. Okay, so infuse 0 0.75 liters of lactated ringer solution over eight hours. How many milliliters per hour? That's what I'm looking for. Should I set the pump for? Okay. So for milliliters, I have 0 0.75 liters. Well, the thing, the uh, important part about dimensional analysis is whatever is listed at the top, so it says milliliter on the top, so I need to start with milliliters. So you just go into your problem and you find something that says milliliter. Um, and here I have liters. So to get from a liter to a milliliter, I'm just going to multiply by the thousand. So I get 750 milliliters. Okay. The only other information I have in my uh, problem is eight hours. Okay. I started with milliliters. Yep. I ended with hours. Yep. So I'm done. I'm just going to divide 750 divided by eight. And I get 93.7, but milliliters an hour is going to be a whole number unless told otherwise. So that 7 makes that 3 go to a 4. So 94 milliliters per hour. Okay, next slide. Um, let's see, I'm going to use the red this time. So I'm going to infuse 1,000 milliliters of lactative ringer solution over 12 hours. How many milliliters per hour should the IV pump be set for? So I'm looking for milliliters per hour. So I'm going to start with something in my problem that says milliliter. So what do I have? I have a thousand. So I have a thousand milliliters. And the only other information I have are my hours. Okay. I started with milliliters, I ended with hours, so I'm just going to divide. 1,000 divided by 25 is 83.3, so when we round, because you have to round to a whole number, let's told otherwise, so you get 83 milliliters per hour. Okay. 
Next one. <clears throat> the doctor orders 3,000 milliliters to be infused from uh, 1,900 to 1,700. Or, sorry, 0, 0,700. How many milliliters per hour should the pump be set for? Okay, so milliliter per hour. So I find something that says milliliter and I have 3,000. Now for hours, I have 1,900 to 7, uh, 0, 0,700. I don't know, I know 0, 0,700 is 7 a.m., right? So what is 1,900? If I subtracted 12, I get, that's 7, that's 7 p.m., okay? So if that's 7 p.m., and it's ending at 7 a.m., so that's running for, what, 12 hours, okay? And I started with milliliter, ended with hour, so I got 3,000 divided by 12. And I got an even 250 <clears throat> milliliter per hour. Okay, so those are the easy ones when they give you just milliliters and just hours. Now we're going to work on milliliters an hour when they give you uh, minutes, like 15 minutes or 20 minutes. Um, if you're given the milliliters per minute in, in a certain amount of minutes, the thing is you have to multiply by the 60 minutes over an hour because you want to find out how many milliliters per hour. Okay? So, for example... <clears throat> You have vancomycin, 1250 milligrams and 250 milliliters is ordered to infuse over 120 minutes. How many milliliters per hour should the pump be set for? Okay, so I'm looking for milliliters per hour. Okay, so the first thing you're going to find is 250 milliliters. Okay, now... I'm going to change the color. I'm going to show you something. Now, you do not need this 1250 milligram, but I'm going to show you one of the benefits of dimensional analysis. Okay, Because sometimes you do need the medicine. This time you don't, but sometimes you will, and I'll help you see the difference. So let's say we did put that 1250 milligrams. Okay? Well, we have a milligram, but what we're wanting is an hour, right? That means that I need to, for dimensional analysis pur purposes, have to cancel the milligrams so that because that's not what I'm looking for. But if you look in your problem, there's no other milligrams in that problem. That means that they can't connect. So if they can't connect, that means that it doesn't belong. So, since it doesn't belong, it just makes it easier because that's one bit of information you don't need. Okay, so then you go back with the only thing left, 120 minutes. <clears throat> but this says minute, this says hour, so I have to change it because we don't want minutes. So, I need to get rid of minutes and go to an hour. Well, I know that 60 minutes is one hour. Okay, I started with milliliter, yep, I ended with hour, yep, did the other units cancel, yep, so all you do is multiply straight across the top, okay, straight across the bottom, oh, 120, divide, it's a comma, divide by 120, and I've got 125 milliliter per hour. Okay, so when you get to this part, uh, when you set it all up, you're going to multiply straight across the top, straight across the bottom, and divide. Okay, so here's another one. This one, let me fix this, it's been off center. There we go. Okay, so a patient has an order for whatever that is, 500 milligrams in 50 milliliters of uh, normal saline 20 over 25 minutes and I want to know milliliters per hour okay milliliters okay 50 milliliters 
and I could put milligrams, right? But you notice that I wouldn't be, there's no other milligrams, so they wouldn't cancel, so I'm going to put my minutes. Okay. But this says minute, this says hour, so I'm not done. I have to cancel my units, so I need minutes on the top. So 60 minutes is one hour. Okay, those cancel, and I did start with milliliter, and I did end with hour. So then I go straight across, straight across, divide. So 3,000 divided by 25, and I got 120 milliliter per hour. Okay? So I think this is the last one for um, the time, or milliliter an hour with the minutes. So again, patients ordered this medicine, 150 milligrams and 100 milliliters to be given over 75 milliliters. Wait, to begin with, sorry, if I, that should say minutes, guys, I'm sorry. Minutes. I'm trying to write it minutes right here. Okay, how many milliliters per hour? So I want milliliters per hour. So I have 100 milliliters. Okay, I'd put the milligram, but notice they can't cancel, so I'll put the 75 minutes. But I don't want minutes. Right? I want to get rid of minutes and go to an hour. So 60 minutes is one hour. So that's 6,000 over 75. 5 by 75. And I get an even 80. Sorry, I didn't cancel my units. I'll show you. So I started with milliliter. Ended with hour. Yep. The others cancel. That's it. Okay. Last one I talk about um, when you're given milliliters and medicine, okay? Um, and this is where right here, this first one is what the is in the bag, what's in the IV bag, how much medicine's in the liquid. The units per hour is what they call the dosage rate. Uh, the dosage rate is like how many milligrams per hour they're going to get how many units per hour they're going to get. Um, but this, knowing these two things might help you set it up, but we're going to follow the same process of dimensional analysis. Okay. So this one, he, you have 10 units of humulin insulin per hour. 50 units of insulin is in uh, 250 milliliters. How many milliliters per hour? <clears throat> Okay, I'm going to start with milliliter. Okay, so I'm going to put the 250. Now, what's its best friend? Okay, usually best friends are found in the in in the sen same sentence, or they have the per symbol. Um, for this one, it's the 50 units, because there's 50 units of medicine in that 250 milliliters. Okay, now this time we are using the medicine. Because notice what happens. Down here says units. This says hours. So we have to get rid of units. Okay. So to get rid of units, I have it right here. 10 units. And what's its best friend? 10 units of hum humulin insulin per what? Per one hour. Okay. Did you start with milliliter? Did you end with hour? Then the units can cancel. So you have 2,500 over 50, 2,500 divided by 50, and you get 50. Okay. Sometimes they're easier to see when they're when you're using them. The best friends, like right here, it's easier to see these. Um, so it says that there's 10 milli equivalents in the thousand milliliters of D5 half normal saline and it's to be administered at a rate of and this is his dosage rate how much medicine per hour right and you want to know how many milliliters per hour okay so we start with something said milliliter I have what I have a thousand milliliters 
and its best friend is that 15 MEQs. And I need to get rid of MEQs. So it's at three MEQs per one hour. Sometimes you're technically not supposed to, just FYI, H and HR are acceptable. If you are in the 203 class, don't put HR and connect. Um, it would mark it wrong. But in a class, it, it's acceptable. It's one of the acceptable ones. It's just connect doesn't see it that way. So, sorry, straight, I didn't check it. I started with milliliter. Yep. Did I end with hour? Yep. Do milli equivalents cancel? Yep. So, 3,000 over 15, which should be 200 milliliters per hour. Okay, and then I have one more. This one, um, I wanted to do just a little bit extra, so I made it per minute. Okay, so it's, again, so it says determine the flow rate for the infusion pump. So infusion pumps are always in milliliters per hour. Okay. So start, and, and again, no matter what's up here, so we just start. We find something that says milliliter, right? And so it says 5,500 milligrams esmolol in 500 milliliters. So those are best friends. That's the bag of D5W at 11.5 milligrams per minute. That's the dosage rate via infusion pump. Okay, that's all I need. So 500 milliliters. And its best friend is 5,500 milligrams. Those are fives, even though they look like three. Okay, 5500 five, zero, zero milligrams. And I need to get rid of my milligrams. So up here I have 11.5 milligrams. I can't put per hour because it says per one minute. Okay. But if you look at the bottom, that says minute, that says hour. I need to keep going. I need to get rid of the minutes. Okay? And I'm going to go to an hour. So 60 minutes is one hour. And then you check yourself. I started with milliliter. Yep. Did I end with hour? Yep. Did everything cancel? Milligram. Gone. Minute. Gone. Everything. Straight across, straight across, divide. 500 times... 11.5 plus times 60 equals okay, 3, 4, 5, 3 zeros, it's a comma, over, okay, that's easy, 5500. Zero, zero. So divided by 5500 zero, zero equals 62.7. 62.7, which rounds to a whole number 63 milliliter an hour unless told otherwise okay um if i do a second uh, milliliter an hour it will be on advanced uh calculations which would be more of things like what's on this slide as well as uh dosage rates based on weight so i hope this helps everybody take care bye